Well, tonight, the Broward County Sheriff's Office is mourning the loss of a captain who died in a helicopter crash while responding to an emergency call this morning. The crew was on their way towards North Lauderdale when they crashed at a nearby apartment complex along North Dixie Highway and Atlantic Boulevard. A, a woman who lived at that complex also died. Our Suji Nam joining us now near where it happened with more on the investigation. Suji. Felicia, Tiffany, what started as an electrical issue on board soon turned into a fire, which eventually led to the crash. The Broward Sheriff tells us that the community is hurting tonight. Going down? Yeah. yeah. Shocking video showing the moments before this Broward Sheriff's Office fire rescue helicopter crashed into an apartment complex. When I went in, so I said, boop, 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 I opened my door. I see the fire on the building. But I don't know where fire coming from. I ran out to go over there. When I got there, the top of the roof was all on fire. The crew got an emergency call before 9 o'clock Monday morning that required aviation transport. As three first responders were headed towards North Lauderdale, they came across electrical issues on board. They were fighting for their own life. A fire broke out on board. Uh, they did their very best, from my understanding now, to try to extinguish that fire. But additional mechanical issues occurred, resulting in our unit crashing into one of our local residents here. 50 year old Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue Captain Terrison Jackson was one of the crew members on board who died from the crash. A woman who lived at the apartment complex also died on the scene. Typified what it meant to be a brother firefighter. He perished doing what he loved and we appreciate the outpouring of support from our fellow fire rescue agencies. Four other people rushed to a hospital and are being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. This tragedy is really going to challenge us as a community. And efforts have transformed from recovery efforts to now an active investigation. The NTSB and FAA are also investigating. Reporting live in Pompano Beach tonight, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.